when there, there, there are a few things going on, and, and, and we we will tell you that that conception is the spark of life, and and, and there there is energy being projected in at, at at that moment, and that energy is being projected in as a soul consciousness being wanting to project in as a human being and to have some sort of human experience, even if, if birth does not occur after that. There is an experience to be had in that, and, and there is no judgment regarding any of that from us, certainly. But at, at birth, you are born with a certain set of, of skills and abilities and connection that you're very tapped into. But as you begin to learn to be human, you are simultaneously unlearning to be to be spiritual, if you will, for, for a bit of time. And, and, and it, it is different for everyone. You, you are all individuals. So you all have independent journeys in, in this experience. But definitely, you, you are starting to pick up things on the environment that you project into as you learn to focus and you learn to speak. And, 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 and an infant is, is, is like a little sponge absorbing everything that, that, that comes around. And we have shared recently that the reason you all find infants so cute is, is, is actually nature. That, that is how an infant learns. That, that, that attraction that you all feel to a newborn it, it, it is, is that newborn drawing more humans around to learn from. That is why you find that, that so appealing. And, and, and they were drawing information from multiple people beyond perhaps just the, the, the one that they were uh, the born from. So they're gathering information and they're learning to function as a human being. And in that learning to function as a human being, th th they are more or less forgetting more and more and more about the energetic realm. And, and, and that, 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 that is the intention. And you see that in small children, the, the whimsy and the lack of judgment and then the not knowing what, what what race they are and things of that nature and not caring. And, mm -hmm. and that is all learned behavior. And they begin to evolve over time into the human being that they're going to become ultimately. And it is, they, they forget the energetic realm and learn the, the, the human world, if you will, the, acquiring the ego consciousness as we refer to it. And then a lot of times, very often, what happens is, is you, you, you move to a certain extent uh, in, into uh, adolescence and some choices are made, some preferences are discerned of paths that, that are going to deliver some contrast or not. And, and generally, the, the, the path is going to be one of higher contrast or the one is going to be a path of less contrast and perhaps less expansion because the existence is so so comfortable and flat. And, and, and then eventually, a disruption is going to happen in a lifespan and, 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 a, and some sort of awakening is going to occur. And, and that can move toward religion that could move toward being a very anti-religion, that could move toward being very caught up in politics, that could move towards what you call spirituality. But, but you all crave this, this expansion, and you all crave a little shift and a little change throughout your lives. Some of you more than others, certainly, because you're all different. But the, the further you go, the, the, the more you become human, and, and the, the more you move into your humanness and, and fully embracing that as a child and as a teenager, and, and, and then you begin to move in different directions, depending on your preference from there. And the, the part that we want to share with all of you is that we love coming and interacting with all of you. And, and we are here delivering th these messages and these teachings for those of you who are ready for it and, and interested in it. But certainly this is not for all of humanity. And, and there is nothing wrong with any human completely ignoring all of this and having their own contrasting life experience without this knowledge if they so choose you are all going to end up back in the same state regardless of how you handle this life experience you, you, your heaven or hell if you will is what you create while you are here and and you and we, we understand that, that that all of you paying attention to us right now are aware of that to a large degree but but you create that reality and and disconnecting and reconnecting is is one of the most thrilling things that you can do as a human being and we understand that once you, you tap into these teachings and start finding thoughts such as this, whether it's through David or another, you feel like you've gained the keys to the universe. And, and in, in some ways you actually have, and you are seeing from a higher perspective, but then there comes a whole new layer of contrast with that, which can include beating yourselves up for not being the perfect spiritual person, if you will, which can include for a while needing to, to fall back into old habits of needing to control and things like that. But eventually you let go of all of that if you continue your practice and you, you really learn to zoom out and trust 
and, 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 and buckle up for a very joyful adventure, which is what your lives can all be regardless of what's going on. It's all a matter of how you perceive it and react to it as far as what's next for you goes.